Hello, I'm Martin Looker from Silicon Labs. In this quick start video, I'll show you how to add a development matter device into a network formed with a Google Home Nest Hub. This shows the commissioning process from an end user's perspective. The matter examples have a test certificate programmed into them. And in order to introduce our device into a Google Home network, we'll need to enable the use of the test certificate. To do this, you'll need to visit Google's developer console, logged in with the account of your Google Hub, and to begin, you can start by creating a project. So I'm going to create a new project by using the Create option and give it a new name. To add our light device, once we have our project, we need to click on Add Matter Integration. There's lots of useful information here, but I'm just going to click through. So on this screen is where we set up our information for the device that we want to enable. So I'm going to call this Scilabs Lite. And from here, we need to select a device type. So I'm going to select Lite. Next, we need to fill in a test vendor ID and a product ID to allow our Matter Lite to operate in the system. To obtain these values, I'm going to connect over a serial terminal to the Matter Lite that I have running. So the baud rate is 115200, uh, eight data bits, no parity, one stop bit, and no flow control. Once I'm connected, pressing Enter will create a, a Matter CLI prompt. And to get a list of commands that you can issue, type the help command. The command that we're interested in here is the config command. So let's enter config, and we'll then see we have the vendor ID output here. And we can see the default value FFF1 is, is the one our device is already using. Uh, but we'll also need to enter a product ID in hex. So I'm going to take a copy of this and edit it into the product ID. Once we have that information in place, we can click Save and Continue to add the details to our developer console. And in this additional configuration step, uh, we don't need to fill anything in here, so we'll just click Save. And now we're ready to use the light. As I'm working with the ProKit board, the QR code that's needed for commissioning will be displayed on the LCD. If you're using one of the smaller boards, that's not possible. So whilst you're in the serial terminal, if you issue the onboarding codes BLE command, that will output a URL that you can use to display the QR code that's needed for commissioning. If you take a copy of that URL and paste it into your browser, you'll be able to use this QR code to commission your device. So I've packed you reset my board, which you can do by pressing and holding down push button zero until LED zero starts to do its brief flash again uh, and the QR code gets displayed on the LCD. And I'm running Google Lens on my phone, so I'm ready to scan the QR code to add the device into my network. Next, I need to choose the app I want to work with, which will be Google Home in this case. And I need to agree to the conditions. An LED zero will flash more quickly while the commissioning data is exchanged. And once it's lit solidly, that shows the device is ready. We just need to wait for Google Home to wrap up what it's doing. So our device is connected and we can continue on. So we need to choose a location for the device. I'll choose study in this case. And I need to give the device a name. So I'm going to call it ProKit. And then it will just finish up adding the device into the system. So I can see in my study room, I have a device. I can control it through the phone by turning it on and turning it off. And because I have a Google Hub here as well, I can also use voice commands. OK, Google, turn on ProKit. OK, Google, turn off ProKit. So that really shows the ease of use for using Matter devices from an end user's point of view. 
So that shows how to authorize a development device and commission it into a Google Home Network. When you create consumer products, each device will have a unique QR code and they don't need to be authorized through the developer console. Thanks for watching.